week. They're focusing on search and rescue. WCMI's Jory Talley joins us live in Columbus with more on the reason behind this week's training. Jory. Joey, so far in 2017, Columbus Fire and Rescue has worked two missing person cases, which shows you just how much those search and rescue efforts play out. Columbus Fire and Rescue are always on call, and training keeps them ahead of the game and prepared for any kind of emergency. These map reading skills and, and uh, line search skills that we're practicing today, we, we'll use those in every discipline, like our dive rescue, even those, those uh, other areas of technical um, certification require these skills to, <laughs> to be proficient in as well. The search and rescue training is in real time, like an actual call would play out. Getting the information they need to, to start a search where the, last, the person last known point was, going out, doing the search, finding the victim, doing them uh, if they need medical attention, taking care of them medical-wise, and get them back home safe. The drill comes on the heels of an actual search and rescue at Probes Park after a child wandered away from a building across the street. Kids may go to playgrounds and things, so this is kind of a base on the, uh, that, based directly on that situation where we'll come over here and kind of go through what we did last week and where we might could improve or areas that we did really good at. Captain Wes Milm says skills are practiced every few months and there's one thing always taken away from it. They take away a, a confidence um, is, is the main thing. It's, it's being able to go on scene and know that you know what you're doing and, and be able to jump right in and, and start working on these, finding these people that, that may be in dire need. The Columbus team is normally the lead agency in all Lowndes County on search and rescue efforts and even take them to other regions of Mississippi. We've been on the coast, uh, Katrina, we've uh, been to Louisville during the tornado in Louisville, Smithville, uh, just wherever they call us and we go. Training will be taking place over the next two days, and when we were with them earlier today, some of them had to leave to go on a call, which shows you that training doesn't stop them from getting the job done. Live in Columbus, Jory Talley, WCBI News. Joey. All right, thanks a lot.